Oh, hello. What's up, guys? Hi. We're back. Uh, oh, you got the computer. I'm not looking at the computer. <laughs> so, uh, just a quick recap of where we left off oh, uh, last time. Oh. We uh, are. We had just six vampires spawn. Uh, that we, they're spawn, right? Yeah, they are. You know that now because I told you. You yeah, did tell me they're that. vampire spawns. Yeah, yeah. So there were six vampire spawns. They're, not um, even, they're baby vampires. They're not even <laughs> real vampires. <laughs> Uh, there was six of them. We've eliminated three, but two of our party are down. Uh, there was this strange woman that showed up. She has an threw arm, leg, something, a liquid substance of some kind at them. Uh, we've assumed by context clues that it's holy water because it burned them. And we've watched vampire movies before. Yeah, um, I've watched. Like, and as it turns out, Dracula. Justin decided he was going to make us wait two weeks to find out what was happening on the die. thrilling conclusion of Dragon Ball Z. Past yeah. two weeks so, has sucked. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're literally going to get started from where we left off in I'm the gonna, last battle. I'm just going to do some, like, aesthetic, like, recap, only because I like her intro a lot. <clears throat> Justin, talk into the mic. Yeah, hold on, sorry. I said I'm going to redo it because I need like... need to take away his side table. I yeah, no, no put side it table. On, put it under me. Put the side so, table that, under that, me. That's so called so a chair. I can do like that. <laughs> I don't want to sit in it. I just want it at my knees so then I can just be like... So you can look at your dick? Yeah. That was a dick thing. It's not. It's like, it looks like he's jerking off. I mean, so <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna recap only because you know I think it'll get us back into the right headspace. So um, Rufio Absidy, uh <clears throat> with both of your play, your other party members down. Shart is starting to bleed out. His eyes are starting to roll in the back of his head. Dirt is just making like uh, when Apollo died in uh, Rocky Four. He's just kind of like twitching on the floor. Um, Great. You just hear that that thumping click sound gets bigger and bigger and you see this hooded figure who uh, pulls out these two vials in their hands and you see uh, their right leg is this br brass copper kind of uh, boot that looks like crawls and snakes all the way up to their thigh and they, they only say uh, one word to you and it's duck as they cross their arms and they splash all three of those uh, vampires and you hear these crackling and pops as they start wailing and we are at the top of the round, so it looks like Absidy, you are up. Mm. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I only have seven health. <clears throat> uh, I'm thinking dis I run. Disengage. Yeah, disengage. I'm probably going to run behind her. I don't really have much of a choice. Why don't you uh, action, potion, action, potion, and then hide behind him? Oh, I could do that. Gets everybody up. But yeah. <clears throat> would this is out of character right now since I'm dead? You're on the ground, so you'd have your whole action would be getting up. Well, no, I understand that, but he's not. He uh, has alive. to if he has to disengage and then action, action. That's three actions. He wouldn't be able. Yeah, to Yeah, I can that. only do one. It'd be disengage, and then it'd be his movement, and then he couldn't do anything else. You might be able to bonus action hide. No, I can bonus action you, use. Yeah, use that's, oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So I would do one potion to someone. Uh, I would have to do it to um, Shart because I need someone to hide behind. You can hide behind me. I'm there and we can occupy the same space. Who's less likely to die? No, no. Between Dirt and Shart. Oh. Shart. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I need to bring up Shart. I mean, Dirt's armor class is kind of high, but I, I mean... That's it, it's a judgment call. Do it. Do it. It's Shart's going to get you farther back, and that's kind of yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disengage, pop back here, behind Shart. Okay. And then potion him, uh, which will get him up. Correct. <clears throat> yes. So regular po uh, regular or greater. We have one greater left. Regular. Okay. Oops. Okay. So that. Hey, get up. Two D fours plus two. Uh. Yes. Five. Hey, Shark. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. Get up. Uh, okay. Love you. Uh, thank you. I brought him back with the power of love. <clears throat> That's the power of love. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, I hit someone with my finger. So, um... Let's see here. So, is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, let me, I'm just looking at one thing. Perfect. So it is eight. <laughs> okay. 
I'm I'm excited. I've been waiting to do this since la- like two weeks ago. Fuck you. Okay. So, uh, could you please move our new friend as they take off their hood? And as I described before, I'm going to change it up a little bit only mm. because I feel like it'd be more interesting. It's Emily Browning. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Not Emily Browning. Uh, what's her name? She was in, she's Khaleesi. Uh, oh, uh, oh, Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. I love her. I was, so it's Amelia Clark. Basically. We're good. Okay. So she's different. a little bit shorter. She has the darker skin, black hair. Awesome. Green eyes. Still a bit of an amputee though. So yeah. So you <laughs> move her closer to you, Pat. No, uh, no, you physically, like you oh, as a person. Oh, me physically. Uh, just one space back. There you go. There, and you see this uh, lightning start uh, crackling from her fingertips, and she starts uttering this incantation. I want to touch her body with mine. Points at the two uh, vampire that are in front of her. Uh, obviously missing dirt because he is on the ground. Uh, and it's too <laughs> many dice. What twenty? He just said too many, but oh. I thought he said 20 also, and I was like, whoa. I have too many dice. She, okay. She's a wizard. Too many dice. She's not a wizard, but she definitely has some some shit. I will... I keep losing my fucking pencils, man. You want to borrow mine? Too many No, cups, I got one now. Too many cups. Too many dicks on the dance floor. So they both got hit with this, and then I'll just show you for funsies how much damage she did. Oh, like big old vampire nice. titties. That's 30 she damage? Did, she did 30 damage. To each of them? She, to both of them. She just goes, dush, dush, <clears throat> and you see them shake with this electrical energy, and you see her shake her hands, and you see the smoke just coming off her fingertips. Not even phased by what she just did. What uh, the hell is going on? So wow. the two vampires are going to start moving towards her because... She just fucked them up royally. Yeah. So if you'd like to move uh, both of them that she just hit. Two. Yep. And then bring the other one as close as you can to her. There you go. So I'm going to have them both attack her. Okay. That one hits. That one does not. This is at an angle, so it didn't hit. <laughs> and that also did not hit. Okay. She only got hit once. Let's see. With a... <coughs> I'm in love. Time. Again, for the we're, third time we're, in this campaign. We're in love. I don't know her name, but I'm calling her Hurricane Babe so right now. It's Amelia Clark. Sorry. Emily Browning's from uh, Sucker Punch. That movie did not do well. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. very good. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, I don't know. Don't. Uh, that's let me see. What's his face? Zach Oscar Snyder. Isaac's yeah. good in it. And that's He's not saying it. a lot. Yeah. So, didn't yeah. didn't even know he was an actor then. <laughs> okay. And you see this claw just kind of graze across her her uh, shoulder as she's dodging these other attacks from the other vampire and it just it leaves this flesh wound that just slightly trickles blood uh, and Rufio you're up uh so oh I didn't have him attack but oh I'm gonna do that yeah do that that was cocked I need to put this on a level that's a botch and that's a double botch he misses Nice. Dick. Double misses. Botch it! Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to use my Vow of Enmity okay. uh, on nice. him for my bonus action. And do that it. And will then make me roll for advantage as long as he's up. Correct. That's a new thing. Until he hits zero hit yeah. points. He uh, did some research. I did. Uh, that's a 19. That's a 16. And I also have uh, Hunter's Mark cast right now Okay. as well. So... Uh, on that ni- one? 19? Uh, yeah. So I, 19. I it was on one of them. I don't remember eh, which one. I mean, that one. 19 was the, the hit. The in front of me, yeah. Yeah, so that hits. So roll your damage. It was the one uh, that's in front of me, so I figure. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, 9, 11, plus 4, 15. 15? Okay. Yeah. Good hit. <clears throat> okay. So using that greatsword. So let's see here. We are <laughs> at way the different. top of the round. So Shart, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Um, well, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna rage, cause, Good idea. uh, I need to stay alive somehow, and then, okay, uh, I'm gonna go after the same one that, I like that he just put <coughs> his dirt's body, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're getting yeah. in the, yeah. oh, I have to roll a death saving throw for dirt, oh, I, Thank you for reminding me. How no, many? No problem. This is it, this his first one? This is his first one. This is his first one. He okay. made it, so we're good. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Mike, back up from the mic. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm flanked, so He's I still so have... excited. Ad- I have advantage yeah. right now. 
Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to roll an attack on uh, Vampire McBitch. Okay. That is... First one is a 13. Uh, 13 does not hit. Okay, but an 18 does. 18 does, yes. Okay. Uh, that is 14 points of damage. 14 points? Okay. Yep. 14, nice. Okay, and then... Just helping you out. Thank you. Dope. And we are at Dirt making another uh, death saving throw. Okay, he just made it. And then... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Absidy, you are up. Okay, so that um, that one's still up, right? The one that the two of them are fighting? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to move up here. She doesn't need help. She'll be fine. <laughs> She seems fine. I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to attack the uh, vamp, vampy boy. Sure. Vampir. Vampir boy, which uh, I believe would give me sneak attack, but it's only an 11. 11 does not hit. Mm. Okay. Well, I use my bonus action for a potion on dirt. Okay. Yay. Bring your baby boy. My squire is alive. Baby boy. Baby boy. You're all going to just fuck up this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to take the two, though. So <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, Dirt, drink up. Do you want to roll for him? Yeah, roll for him. Yeah, I'll let you roll for him. Uh, uh, I want to roll for him. Yeah, you can go we'll ahead and roll for roll him. roll one. Yeah. And then I'll give the well, plus I gotta two. take my shit. That's a three. Two. So plus five. Five plus two, plus two, two seven. seven. Okay. Yeah. So seven, Dirt gets back up. He's like... <gasps> roll my shit, bro. And he's still laying on fuck his you. back, but he's, he's breathing at this point. Um... So it is our Amelia's turn. Uh, I love you. What's up, Hurricane Baby? <laughs> Hurricane Boo. I love you. And you see uh, on her back, she has these two swords that are hilted. And you see her just kind of in an X motion. Shing. Like, one is a, uh, a steel rapier. And you see the other one is a short sword that's just pure silver. As she comes down and you see her we have slice. One of those. We have one you of those. You see her slice at... Uh, Who has it? At both Bird. of them. Oh. Um, let me see here. So it is... God, she has great, great attacks. She's fantastic. No one can hear what you're saying. She's just great. She has great attacks. She's fantastic. You didn't really need to hear me say it. It's important. We did, though. Okay. We I'm care gonna... about what you say. Thanks, guys. You're God. You are important to us. <laughs> I'm Sean. <laughs> My name's Sean. There's going to be two things. You hitting the ground and me hitting Kid Rock's ball to the ball in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact. <laughs> I bought that CD the other day. <laughs> Why? Because I went to the local. <laughs> she she critted. <laughs> <laughs> she critted. I love her. I love. I love her. I love her. <laughs> she. Oh. Okay, I, I got to do some math. CD store Park Ave. Yeah. And um, they had a, a used CD sale, which it was fill a box with thirty CDs, and it was ten bucks. Oh, that's so, not bad. So <clears throat> out of like everything that I got, I started to like run out of like good stuff, and then I ran into the Kid Rock CD that had Ball with the Ball on it, <laughs> and I was like. Just to piss off Mal and buy him this. Like, you, so you said it was 30 for 10 Six. CDs? Or 10 CDs for 30? 10 CDs for 30. Oh, okay. Or no, 30 CDs for 10. Sorry. Oh, okay. Other way around. There was a couple new ones in there too. Like I got the newest Menzingers so album. Oh yeah. But like, why would you ever buy a CD? Because I listen to CDs every once in a while. Why? There's the internet. Oh, when my data is running high. Be on Wi-Fi. In my car. And the other one had so come. Get Wi-Fi in your car. <laughs> Two. So that's... <clears throat> I don't think there's Wi-Fi in the time period we're playing in. And you're, still you're not even your in. Yeah, you're not even in character. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hurricane Babe, what'd Ooh. you do? All right. <laughs> so you see her, and she attacks just the specific one in front of her, and she just comes down in like an arcing motion. And the rapier does a good effect, and you you see that it cuts in, but. <laughs> No, not yet. <laughs> very, very close. Uh, but with the silver sword, you see this hissing and popping again, this more smoke coming out as this wound isn't healing correctly as this vampire lets out another. Okay. And so we have. Two. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to have them vampire rounds. So. I'm going to just roll three. Uh, can I pop dirt up? Uh, he has to go on his turn. He has to get up. He's, so he's, he's, he's currently prone. prone at the moment. Got it. So I'm just going to do um, each of them get how many attacks? I believe it is. Can you attack two. while prone? No. You have to get up. Yeah, what you if you're just doing up. like a little stabby motion at a bug? One, two, one, two. <laughs> like, could you attack me because I'm so short? 
I'm just going to roll d20s for all of them, so that way I just I know who hits and who doesn't at this point. Thanks. Oh. I'm just filling the air while he's rolling, so. Fair enough. <clears throat> and so, probably no. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to find up. Not now. I'm going to okay, find up. So a the bug. one that she fucked up doesn't hit. Uh, the one that comes after her does hit, but it's not, like, crazy. Um, so it is. The claws are. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, Rufio, <coughs> you, get, you get hit. With uh, a bite attack. Me? Wait. No, Rufio does. What did you roll? I rolled a 19. That does not hit. 19 doesn't hit? It does not. Oh, okay. My shield of faith, I have an armor class of 20 That's right, right. Now. Okay, then never mind. Woo! It is... Uh, God keeps you safe. He does. It looks like... <laughs> I've, been, it, I've been yelling at him in my journal, that's Thank why. you, whore! <laughs> it's been... It is Rufio's turn. Uh, You're up. I will... Uh, oh, I, I'm going to attack the fucker in front time. of me. I guess, because I don't have anything else to do. As you do so, you see the wound starting to slowly heal back up. No! Just heads up. 15? No. Uh, 15 hits. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'm at advantage. 15. Weird. <laughs> All right. Okay, 15. So... 15. 12... 16 points of damage. Okay. 16? Good. Yes. All right, and then we're back at the top. It is Shard's turn. Okay, let's do it. Uh, that is a 24. 24 hits. We're going to go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a natural one it in case anyone one. was wondering. Oh, okay, shit. so we're all in the one that you're wailing on, right? Yeah. What'd you do? 10 points of damage. 10? I mean, that's still damage. <laughs> that's what he's going to regenerate. Just and you, you just know. slice back down with the... Uh, you're using the, the maul? The maul, yeah. And you just chunk in and... And you see the satisfying char and the ash and the sizzle and pop from this fire. Uh, it is Dirt's turn. So I'm going to have Dirt get up. And then, Rufio, I'm going to make you in charge of Dirt now. Oh, great. Ooh. Can so he, you're going to. And he, then on the back is his spells. You got it. Oh, Dirt's ahead of me, too? Yes. Oh, that's right, because they were both down. Uh. Okay. Um, shit. He has, uh, the, sh the silver short sword as well. He does. Um, so, is that a plus five? I'm gonna write that in. It's his strength. So go whatever his strength is. It's plus that to hit. Uh, it's a sh it's the short sword too. So it's one, one D, whatever. It's, uh, the silver short sword is a D6. One D6. One D6. Plus his plus strength. So it'd be like one D8, D6 plus like three. Two. Two. Three. Okay. One of them is three, the other one's two. I don't know. This says two. I'm going to write two. Okay. Uh, so he got up. That, does that use his movement? Or? Yes, that is his movement. All right, then I'm going to have him uh, you cast. Can, you can have him cast Magic Missile. It's an auto hit, and it's 3d4. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have him cast Magic Missile on uh, the one that looks very close to going down. Okay. That's three. Actually, you know what? You roll for it. Okay. What is Here's it? 3d4? 3d4. 3d4. I was going to say, do you need one? Uh, no, I have enough d4. Okay. I have an abundance of d4s. Uh, now you can use them. Dirt. I uh, I need you to hurt the stuff that she's already hurting. Wait, who is that? Uh, I don't Never know. Never mind. She helped. Just the do it. The one that looks weak. Just do it. Two. Four. That was a one. That's five. That's five plus, and then it's plus three for each four, so it'd be eight. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're at... Wait, I okay. thought they didn't regenerate because they were hit with holy water. They didn't regenerate the, uh, the hit points the that they got from her. Oh, yeah, got it. Um, let me see here. So, Absidy, you're up. Okay. Uh, should I go help her? Uh... Or do you want to take out this one together? I, I think we should just take out, again, th uh, two is better than three. So if okay. we can take one out, then we can move on. Okay. Swarm. Let's do it. Like fire. Like fire. I don't get an advantage for anything, right? I know you have an aura <laughs> thing. I don't think um, so. I have Val of Enmity, but it's just for Unless. Me. Okay. <clears throat> I was no. I was gonna say unless. Oh, you actually, to I, could, yeah, yeah, you could yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm unless gonna. I'm gonna hop around to the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna hop around to the other side. Okay. That's why I attack at advantage. Sure. Haha. -ha. Because, yeah, because of me. What? No, it's because of Rufio. Yeah. But I have the ability from my he's, totem He's wolf. flanked. He's flanked. He's flanked. Yeah, yeah, I was already right next to you. 
yeah, yeah. And he doesn't get advantage because of that. Only you do. No, no, no. If someone's, if my teammates on the other side of my opponent flanked on the opposite side, they get advantage. That's everybody. That's everybody. Yeah, if, if, everyone, if, everyone, if yours is with, yours is whoever's in within five feet of you. No. So it doesn't have to be. Oh, like so I can, already had advantage. So you got. That's only just for you though. Yeah. Like if you're fighting back to back to someone, no, you're you good. Need to like, gotcha. I've misunderstood the rule. You needed to no, flank. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Okay. So what's up? Okay, eight. 15? 15 hits. 15 hits. Dope. Yeah. All right, with my rapier. Mm-hmm. Where's my eight? Sneak attack? Is this oh, a, yeah. Oh, it's it? always a sneak attack. I'm a sneaky motherfucker. It's always a sneak attack. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. 10. Okay. Duh. I saw two ones, and I got real nervous. <laughs> me too. <clears throat> I mean, me too. <clears throat> Hashtag me Don't too. you get to re-roll ones? Uh, no, only for... Oh, only on the tech yeah, no, okay. yeah, only on the... Toys. All right, so Amelia Clark is going to... Do it up again. She's gonna be she, in love she's with She's probably me. not a fan of us. Well, no, Dirt helped her. I mean, she's saving us, so... She's gotta like us some amount. Just enough. Okay. That's all I need. Okay, so you see her come up with the rapier, and uh, the vampire already knows it at this point, and swats it away, but... It looks like it was kind of like a goading attack, and then she just slices across the chest of this uh, vampire again. The one that's in front of her? The one that's in front With of the her. silver sword sword? With the silver short sword. Is that going to do it? Is that going to do it? I don't want it to do it. Not yet. Damn it. Uh, what is that? That's... Okay. Uh, uh, very close, though. Dirt. Silver's bad for these things. Pull out the short sword and do <coughs> something. So it'll Use be, it. So it's going to be an action for him to switch weapons. Okay. And, and then... Don't. Well, yeah, do that, and then we'll just cast another... That, that, those are actions, unless he has a bonus like balls. Uh, bonus he, he has two cantrips, firebolt and true they, strike. They're usually those are usually actions as well because they're spells. Um, then don't. What do was that. I doing? Oh, I was getting the calculator. <laughs> I got distracted. It's uh, okay. I forgive you. Thanks, man. Let's see Speaks here. Orcus. Minus. Yep. Okay. All right. And then it is the Imperial turn. So I'm just gonna. One and two. That hits and that does not hit. Jeez. Can I hit with like the good thing, please? Two. No. So that is not what concern. You see another slash across uh, the same arm and it gets a little bit deeper and her, her shoulder starts turning scarlet and she kind of grits her teeth as the other vampire goes in to attempt to attack and bite her. And that is on a claw attack, luckily. So that is 4d4. Oh, credit. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, 8 and 11. 11 plus. So, okay. So then you see this other vampire and just scratches up her back as she just grunts uh, and grits her teeth. And you see, you start seeing blood trickle from the, her back from this long just swipe up. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here, and then the that's gonna make a ditch effort to try to attack Shart. And let me try this one. Uh, does a twelve hit? Nope. Okay, does an, a nine hit? No, oh, thank God, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, okay, and then you start seeing uh its wound slowly healing back. Balls. Okay. And then it is Rufio's turn. Uh, because uh, the creature is because currently you. flanked, uh -huh. would I be able to get uh, out and assist her? It would or? have an attack of opportunity against you because you're still within I'm, its range. Okay. Uh, it's just kind of like gnashing at this point. One, two, three, four. Uh,. Yeah, I'll do. I'll take. You're I'll take the take attack opportunity. opportunity. I'll run, and then I'm gonna okay. hold my attack. So obviously. it's gonna try to bite you while That's you fine. run. Okay. Uh, does twenty four hit? Yes. Okay. Great. I mean, no, but not great. But you know, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I have to roll three d six. Should I? Should we that one? That one? So, that one. Which, one? I don't know. which one? What do you mean? So you take which one should I attack? Six well, points of piercing damage. Okay. And you take um. 
Okay. Um, nine points of necrotic damage. Fifteen. And you're... Do you have... Re no, you're not a ASMR. Sorry. I thought you were going to have re uh, resistance. You don't yet. I don't. Uh, is, uh, six. Got it. Heard. Cool. Great. You're hurting? Yeah. Okay. Where are you at now? Uh, should I go for this one because it's already almost down, or should I go for the far one because it's not? Uh, no, go for, just get rid of one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I would move to here instead. instead yeah. of, and then yeah. you'll have right. advantage, too. And then I'll have advantage again, which is great, because last time we rolled real bad. 17. Did you move your 17 hits? Mark? No, I can't move it until... That's a 9. It's not going to hit. I can't move it until the <clears> thing is down. My bad. So You're 17 good. hits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's just 2d6. Reroll this one. Uh, that is 12 points of damage. Okay, so you... Like Jose Canseco, you just kind of juice up and you sweat back. And I'm going to only describe this because I want to make it more cinematic. You're, you slow-mo and you slice off this thing's head and it's ash and dust. And as you do so, you make eye contact with the girl, uh, this Amelia Clark looking girl. Can I, can I and wait? in your head, just... you're just hearing, I'm all out of love. <laughs> I'm so lost without you. I can, I, can I throw a wink? Like you're doing an awkward kind of thing, yeah. and she just kind of tilts her head, and then it's like <laughs> back into Good. the yeah, yeah. into the fight, back into the fray. Yeah. So, so this guy's gone now. He's gone. Pack to reality. Oop, oh, there, there goes, goes gravity. gravity. Okay. Uh, and now it is. Oh, shot! Oh, boys! Oh, boys! All right, go ahead, shot. You're up. All right. Move. So. That is a 15. 15 hits. Cool. Yeah, 15 you, your second roll is keeping Not one. doing good today. <laughs> so that's a good thing you have advantage. Uh, that is 6, 7, plus 5. That is 12 points of damage. 12 points. Ooh, good hit. Okay. It is not looking good. Uh, speaking of not Finish looking good, uh, Dirt's up. Murder. Dirt's actually up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move Dirt here, uh -huh. and he'll also roll with advantage. And I'll have him attack with the rapier. With the rapier? Okay, yeah, with go the ahead. rapier. Um, rapier is going to be a D8. A D8 plus two. Correct. So see if and he, he hits also first has one. advantage, right? That is a modded 20. So that hits. You don't have to. Well, unless you get to 20, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason I roll the other one. So 5%. 1D8. Um, I'm, I'm, 1D8 I'm, plus his strength. Is this, that's oh, actually his dexterity. Rapier is a dex weapon. Oh, yes. it's dexterity? Yeah. It's a three. Okay. Okay, so he's better so with that. It's a two. It's a three. And nice. Mabby. Got it. Feel a is a short bow is a short bow a dexterity weapon too? I don't know. Because the way it's written on my character sheet, <clears throat> it is. But I want to be honest. Like a rogue normally like is. Like Travis. Like Travis Willingham's. Uh, yeah. That's eight points. So eight points too. Eight points. Oh, it is not. It's not looking good. Which one's looking less not it? good? The, the, that one, the one that, we're in front for of. For sure, the one that's surrounded that one's by three. Yeah, but if I disengage, he gets a chance, and I believe in equality. <laughs> so, I no. mean, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> You're up. Okay. Um, Finish. Finish yeah, that it. fucker. Yeah, I'm going to just merc this guy, hopefully. Uh, 11. Then I can move my hunter's mark. Ooh. Hope 11 hits. Uh, 16. 16 hits. Dope. Ooh. All right, sneak attack. This mofo. Okay, uh, nine. Nine? Nine and points? Yeah. Okay. And you just ash this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, and it just dissipates. And I'm going to use my bonus. Well, I don't need... I was going to heal, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I think... I'm going to There's it. only one left, yeah. so... Uh, and then... Uh, well, I guess I'll wait till my turn, but I'll move my hunter's mark to this fuck face. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna adjust. <clears throat> Fuck face. This, that one that no one's really touched, it's completely healed. It's back up. Like, yeah, yeah, It's ready to figured. fucking party. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, it is Amelia Clark's turn. Not overly concerned. I'm not saying her actual name because we don't know what it is yet. Well, we're gonna chat. Naked. Post-sex. Uh, yeah. Nice. You got, the, <laughs> you got some high nice. hopes there, guy. <laughs> oh, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm a little dumb. She doesn't get two attacks. She gets three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love you so much. It's because of a robot leg. <laughs> I love you so much. I want to put my mouth on your mouth. <laughs> make uh, our bodies do you touch. Know, do you know that thing where you put your penises <laughs> together and you make the peepees kiss? Do you know that? It's, it's, is that called, that's called docking. Do you know that? And she critted. 
Of course she did. She of course she did. She double critted. She's my baby girl. She double critted. Double critted. She double critted. Oh, so this one's gonna die now. Cool, got it. Um, okay. So. <clears throat> makes our lives easier. Keep doing it, lady. Yeah. Hurricane babe. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. You wanna, like, get married? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just run from this town. Let's, Let's just, just run away together. Let's just go. <laughs> we should just go. We should just get on our horses and just go. Just leave. Because wherever you're going, Steve eventually. God, I want to go with you. The wild, wild horses. <laughs> oh, that hit close to home. <laughs> <laughs> and it was with the silver sword. Of course it was, because she's a fucking badass. She's a babe. Uh, did we find out what silver damage does? It just, it uh, I thought it was extra damage. It's damage they can't recover from. Oh. So they're vulnerable to it. Got it. Um, uh, yeah, you said it was a plus two. I thought so it was like it? double or something. Actually, I, I think that's what it is. Because um, it doesn't really tell me in the player's handbook. I've been looking for like ever. Mm. Um, I keep I keep getting distracted. Hold on. So that is one, two, three, four. I feel good mm. about this. Mm. 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 No dead air. She basically no maxed air. out on the hit. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he is not recovering. Uh, if this wasn't in our in our benefit, I wouldn't believe all these good rolls you're doing. So you see, <laughs> hey Rufio, are you squeeing right, right now? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So you see, <laughs> Amelia Squee. Clark. She goads against with that rapier attack, and because this vampire wasn't really paying attention, it catches it and it kind of smiles. And it's at that point you see the smirk come across her face as she slashes down, drops to one knee, and then kind of up swings up as it just makes this really thin like X with the silver short sword. Gonna give it to and you. And you just see Mort's she gonna be the boy tonight. <laughs> it's murder. <laughs> In this prison pools, bitch, you take me. <laughs> um okay, and then it is uh unfortunately that vampire's turn and it does not look happy. Um it is going to attempt to flee. So it's gonna have I will, I'm going to say, Rufio, you have an attack of opportunity, and she has an attack of opportunity. Nope. Mm. No. <laughs> okay. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. She, uh, you see her reach out her, uh, her hands, and she grabs this thing by the waist as it tries to get away from her. And it just, it's struggling at this point. So she's, she's currently has it grappled. Um... And she looks at you and she goes, we have to end this now. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're up. Okay. So <clears throat> I will go here. Okay. So I can attack with advantage. Uh, Hunter's Mark is now on this guy. Yeah. I use my bonus action for that. How does that work when someone's grappled? Grappled. Because like, can you attack Cause when you, you can, potentially hit them? You can, but they're at like three-fourths cover. So it's, um, it, might, it might be, you might hit her. But it looks like she's but with pretty, advantage. I shouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. Unless it's like a super low. It just looks like she's she's pretty okay with being hit. So if you need to hit her, hit her. She's that kind of girl. Got just it. Aim for the leg. She's dirty. She a little juicy. Oh god, that's so close to what I wanted. It. It's uh, that's a modded twenty-four. Okay. And that's not. We're gonna not talk about so that. So twenty-four <laughs> hits. Yeah. I figured as much. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, one, two, three. Oh god, I'm gonna reroll both of these ones. <laughs> That's ass. Six, nine, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Five. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, I just gotta get my <coughs> calculator out. Calculator. Percolate it. Percolate. Calculate it. Percolate it. Percolate it. It's time for the percolator. Okay. Uh, and you just you swipe into this thing, and uh, I'm gonna say she gets hit with half. Uh -oh. No, Hadi, <laughs> no, babe. Okay, and you see it kind of like sink into this uh, vampire, and you see it also kind of sink into her trap here. And she grits her teeth as she's still stro like keeping on. Like you would think, like her arm would waver from I'm it. In love. It's not. It's, she's just fucking tight, bear grip on this thing. Yeah, she is. Okay, uh, and then we are back at the top. Sharp. Too close. You have enough. You got, you got to narrate. That. Yeah. You, well, you have to make sure you have enough movement for that one. Yeah, yeah he should be three. fine. He does. Fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. fine. But yeah, just make sure you narrate because we don't have the battle. <coughs> I'm sorry, cam. I moved. <laughs> okay. I walked around. So what are you okay. doing? Uh, 
Devil bless them all. So you're gonna hit. <clears throat> yeah, that was a twenty-two. Okay, she's also okay on so. there as well. You might kill her. <laughs> No, because you're because you're sharp. This one had a bunny, but <laughs> I'm guessing it doesn't have a bunny anymore. What'd you get? Uh, that is 19 points of damage. 19. Okay, that's a good hit. Uh, and you see her grit her teeth again, and it's just I'm gonna see if she can concentrate on holding on to it. Uh, she she kind of drops at that, and she lets go, and she lets go of the grapple, so the vampire is is loose. But uh, she looks a little banged up now from the but, excess damage yeah. from you guys. <laughs> My and bad. she just kind of looks at you and then looks back at it. Um, dirt is up. Does she look back at it? <laughs> um, I'm going to have... Uh, I'll have Dirt get to about here. Okay. And use Magic Missile again. Okay. Go ahead and roll for it. And that's... What was that again? 3d4 three, three, four, three four, yeah, plus yeah. 3. Plus 3. Okay. They're so hard to pick up in the dice box. <laughs> Because you have all your dice in the dice box. I do. Uh, three, six, uh, oh, yeah. eight, plus his... What was that? Plus his... Dex. Dex. So, plus three. Uh, so, th uh, three, six, eight, eleven. Eleven. And I think that's plus force damage, too. So, it'd be fourteen. What so is force good, damage? That's a good hit. It, it just says it's part of what the um, the attack is on in the player's it's handbook. Like a missile. So, like, the force. So, it's just like dolls that so. just kind of rise up and go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's just like a type of, of damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, Jedi. Absidy, you're up. Neat. Well, I'm just going to saunter over here to this uh -huh. side. Uh -huh. And just give a little jabby jab Dude. with my VPL. Absidy's French now. <laughs> Uh, that'd be an 18. He's French. Yeah, like 18 burrito. Hits, yeah. Sneak attack. 5, 5, 5, 15, 20. 15, 20. No, 19. 19. 19's a good hit. Okay. I did more than... No, I did the same amount of shard. Woo! Same amount yeah. of shard. Teamwork. Yeah. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> Let's see. Now I'm self-conscious. Oh, because... Thanks. Because your strength is little? Because your attacks are little? No. Because you know I have all my dice in the dice you just, box. You, you, oh, about that? Yeah. I don't care about the other thing. <laughs> I think on the plus side is if <clears throat> if he tries to run again, I think we all have an attack of opportunity at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely true. It's definitely true. Okay. <laughs> she's just going to draw the swords, and she's going to wait. She's going to hold her action. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Because she's, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. Uh, and then it is the vampire's turn, so it's gonna be at here. So uh, can I chirp at it in hopes that it attacks me and not her? Because she's a little worse for wear. I would say at your turn, but oh, she's gonna, it. she's gonna, he's gonna attempt to swipe at her again. That hits, and let's see. Maybe we can take it hostage. hostage. Okay. I don't want to take it hostage. What are we gonna do with it? <clears throat> and you see it slice at her and bite into her, but she was waiting for that. She was waiting for it to attack her, so. She's gonna take her reaction as her her hold action. So, she, Jesus Christ, she's so awesome. Okay, I'm not even gonna roll damage. So, so you it's see, dead now. you see this vampire spawn just slash into her, and you hear this this like grunt. You see another slash and grunt, and she it even bites into her, and she lets out this scream uh, out of pain, and then you see thunk thunk. And you see two the two swords jammed into uh, poking out out of its back, and you see it slowly just start moving out as she's moving one of the swords up and the other one down, and she cleaves this thing basically like uh, half of its body off, and it just goes <clears throat> like doo -doo -doo, and it ashes. Leave it to Cleaver. Uh, <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll move forward and I'll I'll use lay on hands on both of us. Uh, Ten points. She kind of like eyes you up as you put her hand on your hand on like her the back of her forearm not her titty and you <laughs> <laughs> not yet <laughs> not yet but we getting there <laughs> that's a debut that's debut Sister, you accept debit Hold yeah on. no that's <laughs> that's debut I'll, okay. I'll be right back that okay and so she uh she kind of the battle's over you guys won you good <sighs> what, are you, what would you like to do <laughs> she's just like and you see her puts the swords back, puts the hood back up, 
uh, w- we we appreciate that. Who who are you? We will uh, we will talk later. B- what what? Where, where do you have to go now? I don't understand. What just this? You just running away now? Like, yeah. You're going to try to keep me here? Uh, no, definitely not. Definitely, and definitely not going to do that. She kind of she smirks at you. She goes, "Find me at the Vistani camp. We'll talk there." And you see her put the head up, and then while she does that, you see her. She uh, disappears. What? <clears throat> Roll perceptions for me, though. Uh, do you know how to do that? <laughs> no. Um, fourteen. Fourteen. Also a fourteen. Okay. As you do, you hear the thump click, thump click, thump click. As she runs out of the room, she misty stepped. Oh, no. she can just disappear. She doesn't. She didn't misty step. She tur- she can turn invisible. She's got an invisibility cloak. She has Harry an invisibility Potter. spell. I love her. I love her. <laughs> I love her. She's great. She's terrible. Dear. I love her. <laughs> What's that? It's from Picky in the Brain when they did the Beatles. Dear I, Uncle I Duke, that. I met a girl. Today. I met a girl. <laughs> oh my god, I met someone. <laughs> Dear, whore. and she's Vistani, so I hope she gives this to you. Uh, so she what? invisibilityed her way out of there. Oh, she said, "Meet me at the Vistani camp." Uh, gladly. Shut up! Oh, wow! Oh. You got a new prospect now. I like Amelia Clark. <clears throat> you like Amelia Clark? Uh, this is not Josh. This is Absidy, and he only has eyes for Irina. So Irina and Amelia Clark. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all the things I did. Ugh. Okay, so you are in this room, and it's just full of empty fucking crates and junk and just ashes everywhere uh, now. I want to go downstairs and see if What's-His-Face is still there. You go down, and <laughs> as you go down, you see you see the old man, but he is currently laid up on the counter, and it looks like his jaw was broken. <clears throat> but is he alive? He is. He's breathing. Okay. And he's wheezing, and you see blood trickling and filling his mouth. <laughs> But he's out cold because his uh, jaw got broken. I give him another shot just for just for shits. Okay, it is <laughs> his jaw flies off. No, it's just it's super broken. Good. We have um. <clears throat> you Fuck have the you. bones, right? Yeah, I got the bones. I yeah. You collected the so bones. like, is Let there anything this. in those crates? No, it's just junk. It's like tea kettles and like brass and like stuff that's not like valuable. Okay. It's just it's literally like. Someone's garage sure? sale. It's someone's garage sale that you're like, ooh, they have nothing here. It's just a bunch of VHS tapes of uh, Jerry Maguire. Oh. <laughs> and it's only that movie. And you're like, uh, they don't even have a VCR. Like, you can't even play it. It's just junk. Mm, fine. Like, okay. Yeah. Show me the so, bone. yeah, I have the bones. I uh, I, I definitely gave him a <clears throat> shot. And uh, w- about what time is it now? Uh, it was about, I say it, it was like nighttime. Yeah. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> say, just for clarity's sake, maybe it's around like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., because you guys uh, went late at night you, to yeah. Because it's when you do you, yeah. Do you guys want to go back to the oh god blue water the blue water in you got yeah it. the blue water in and you see dirt and he's just like <laughs> I, I would like to sleep. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I think we need to rest up and regroup for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, we're, we're going. No, he's we're just, going. he's not, he's not actually whining. He's just, he's trying he's actually, just, he's doing his best to actually trying make, to, not, to not, to not look like he's hurt. He's trying to be tough to impress, you know, um, his group and his friends now. Well, let's not Whoa, friends. <clears throat> I knew, you, I knew one of you was going to say that. He's trying to impress you guys. To, like he's tough. Um, he's never been like knocked out before. So he's a little shaken up. Hardcore. Uh, yeah, so on the way back to the inn, then, I'm going to definitely pull him to the side, and we'll, we'll talk on okay. the way there. Okay. Um, so it's about, a, like, a 20-minute walk, so while we'll get to you in a moment, anything that you guys are particularly doing? <coughs> well, I'm always looking for shiny stuff, but <coughs> I want to I want to jump on Shart's shoulders because I don't feel like walking. <laughs> and you revived him from death. Yeah. <laughs> you, you owe me this. That's fine. Hop on up, little guy. Hop up. Hello. <laughs> also, good swinging in there. I saw you got a, a nasty hit on that one. Yeah, thing. I'm a barbarian now. You're, you're not. You're I'm not. as strong as you. You're not a barbarian. We're equals. <laughs> we are the same. We're the same. <clears throat> you and We're never going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to be the same. But it was a good hit. I'm proud of you. We're just... You're not a barbarian. We're in love. No, we're not. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, uh, Rufio, you, you kind of backtrack with a dirt and he's just kind of like, 
hands in his pockets. Like he's just trying to regulate his breathing. He's a little out of breath, but he's limping a little bit, but he's not trying to make a fuss at anything. So you pull him kind of, you're backtracking with them. And you know, I'm going to say Shart and Absidy are probably about like 20 feet ahead of you. So not super like crazy, but they're, they're a good chunk. How you, how you feeling? I'm a little banged up, sir, but oh, fuck. That was a fucked up fight. Also, this is a 12 year old. I yeah. still love that. This yeah. Is a he's like, oh yeah. He's like, <laughs> I've never Definitely been knocked, never been knocked unconscious that. before, so that's new. <sighs> you, uh, you get used to it after a while. <sighs> Fuck. It just feels like a good night's sleep after a little bit. Oh, does it? Yeah, I think it's that's great. the concussions. Yeah, Lies. definitely that's what it is. It's okay. definitely that. Yeah. Uh, you did a really good job back there. Thank you, sir. Very, very proud. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. I've, I've been this. Power st- magic stuff's definitely different, and I I definitely need to like meditate on it or something. I don't know what's up with that, but well tonight focus on getting some rest yeah. and and healing up. Mm-hmm. Next time we run into anything monstery, uh, try and use the short sword that seemed to have a yeah an effect. I didn't. I I completely forgot I had that. I I didn't even equip it. I, I, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely have it like on me. Maybe I should do like that. That girl, that lady had, where it's on both sides of her hips. Maybe I'll try to do that with my well, hips. You, well, mm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm over explaining again. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll. I got it. Got the note. I'm putting it. Keep the shield though too, because you did, a, you did it. A, a very good job with that as well. It was yes. very beneficial. I don't like getting hit, you. so. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe you don't put your stuff on your hips. You know, maybe it's, maybe I we. Put, but you know, I'll figure it out. I guess. Yeah. We'll, we'll try it out. You know, I don't know if maybe you want to like spar or something, and then that can you can like give me some tips. Uh, we can absolutely do that. Yeah. Especially once I get the claymore back. You, okay. You'll you'll learn. Okay. You'll learn. Okay. That sounds that sounds good. Um. I overhear this, mm-hmm. and I talk to Shart about betting on who will win the spar, and I convince him that Rufio will lose. That sounds great. Role play. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. What? Role play. You hear that they're gonna, they're about to duel, they're gonna fight. <coughs> but wanna okay. Put, wanna put some money on it? No. You wanna put? Do you wanna give me money? Can I have your money? <coughs> no. I I persuade him. I roll for persuasion. Oh my god, you have a plus six! You should be persuading everyone! (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead, roll persuasion. Do a uh, wisdom saving throw. See if you can beat the persuasion. Because you're sharp. No. Nat 20. (laughs) Let's see if it's dueling nat 20s. No. I got a 19. (laughs) So, absolutely just like, this bet sounds like, it's ridiculous. Like, who were you betting on? Rufio winning? Yeah. You've seen the raw talent of Dirt. I thought you were trying to convince me that Dirt was going to... Oh, yeah, you want me to... Yeah, okay, just so you've he, you've seen that, you know, Rufio, Rufio goes down a lot. This is the first time that Dirt's ever gone down. Dirt is usually pretty... He For someone who's so scrawny and wimpy, you've seen his raw power. You've seen him fuck a lot of shit up with magic now. And you've only seen him go down once. <clears throat> it could go either way. And... Uh, Push comes a shove. You kind of like the little kid. You think he's got moxie. He's got spunk. He's got spunk. You got spunk. So, if you want to take that action, <coughs> I mean, you 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 have you to. have to take that you action. Have to. I'm just saying you're more inclined to bet against Rufio. What's your bet? I'm thinking uh, 50 G. That's gold, not piss, thousand. Piss off. No. <laughs> No, if he doesn't want to do 50 okay. G, you can also do like... How about one gold? Yeah, I'll take that. Haha, that's all I it's wanted. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I wanted anyway. But I win, you pay me 10. That's not how that works. I mean, those are odds. That's so. literally how odds work. I have the underdog. But I persuaded you. But I have the underdog. <laughs> He's going at plus a thousand. Roll, roll persuasion. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, persuasion, I <laughs> rolled a 17. <laughs> 17's good. Uh, what's the, is it wisdom saving? I made wisdom saving only because it's sharp. It's, uh, insight. Where's my insight? Or, not insight. It's something. Just roll. My, Do a straight roll for me, and I'll figure out which it is. Four. Four? No. <laughs> Despite whatever. Plus a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Plus a million. Well, no. It, Plus, give me terms, all your I weird mean, stuff, you, know, you find. No, no, I, yeah. I know. So, <clears throat> you owe me ten. If I win. It's ten to one. Mm-hmm. That's way too much. Mm-hmm. I might Buddy, 
Body five, boy. Five to one. Best offer. I'll I'll do I'll do four one. Sucker. Deal. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you, you can shark. take a gold and shove it. Okay, I hop off. And then I, I start. You start putting it in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you said. No, I hop off and I read the uh, the inscription on that javelin that I have. Okay. It's because gonna, it's gonna be a little bit. We'll, oh, work, did, we'll work on it. Okay. You, I, I would say do it when you get to your room. Oh, it's not a quick thing. Yeah. Then I will wait quick. for that. But I'm still walking, bitch. Just now slower than everyone because you got little legs. <laughs> yeah, but I'm quick. <laughs> Wait for me. It's the two-year-old run. <laughs> You're just going noodle arm, and I, uh, I, I look at dirt, and I'm like, H- "How the hell did we get here?" <laughs> oh, um, sir, I believe it was uh, a mist took us. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! I hate going in the woods. Why? Why couldn't it have taken us anywhere else? Yes. Why couldn't it have taken me to a place where I don't know? Bright sunlight comes out, and things aren't trying to eat me and kill me. Well. At least we're with two people that can take care of us when need be, so. Yes, yes, that's true. Um, my, uh... <laughs> says the guy who just went down. Yeah, right. Um, hey, it's the first time. What it seems like is, it's what my mother says. That there are, whenever you're with someone, there are three questions that always go through your mind. Uh, the first question is, can I trust you? And the second question is, can you take care of me? And the third question is, uh, am I going to be okay? So, I I will admit, we've been in this for a few weeks, and, you know, I've just been assigned to you. And that's the question I ask myself with everyone that I meet. And if you asked me two weeks ago if I could answer yes to any of those questions about you, I would have said no. But... For what it's worth, now, all of them are resounding yes. We're still working on these two. But we're, we're, we're growing together. You and I a little faster than the other two, but... I mean, that's what a mentee-mentor relationship is, right? Yeah, sometimes I forget about the mentor about part. About me being 12. Yeah, so. well, you know. <laughs> you don't I, act 12. I, I, re- I read a lot. You don't act 12. <clears throat> Thank like you. Books. You say fuck a lot. Oh, that's like a new thing. Uh, that uh, I mean, that's more recent. I feel like I get a free pass as while we're here, and then when we leave, if we leave, don't tell your mom. Oh no, I hope to see my mom, and <laughs> I, mean, I would if eventually I. We'll I don't there. even give a shit. Like if I see my mom and be like, "How the fuck are you?" We'll we'll see there. We'll we'll see. We'll get again. to that point. We'll, we'll get there. Don't God, worry I about it. So. And then I'll kind of put my arm on his shoulder and like I want to see. Can I can I see if he like. <clears throat> He he winces a little bit because it hurts, but he doesn't like back away from you. Yeah, he you know he accepts it, and you know you kind of just walk shoulder to shoulder, Squire and you know Ward and uh, Batman. Yeah, Batman and Robin. Uh, and so you you get back to the Blue Water Inn. Uh, <laughs> you guys are all fucked up and janked up, and you see uh, what's his name? Shit. Oh, it's been two weeks. It's uh, been <laughs> one week. Four weeks since you looked at me. Irwin. I'm sorry. Irwin. Yeah, Irwin. Irwin, the innkeeper. Irwin. He, uh, you guys come in and he goes, "You, you all look fucked." Uh, cra- Thanks. Crazy night. <laughs> crazy <laughs> night. We crazy have. Night. Uh, you are going to bed, yes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, before you do so, if if you please, um, have a seat. And you see, like, these five sets of beet soup that's, like, kind of waiting for you. <laughs> there, It's not cold. It's not hot anymore because he was waiting for a while. Thank so like, you. It is best beet soup in all of uh, <laughs> Village of Vallaki. I'll, um, I'll hand my bowl to dirt and just heat it up, please. Just a little. Are you sure that's the best idea, sir? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And you see him put the bowl in his hand. And he, uh, that's a roll for this. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm excited. He, he kind of concentrates and you see his hands start turning hot and white. And then soon the, it turns to, it goes from like deep red to yellow, to orange, to white hot. And he just immediately just shoots a hole through the soup and then through the end. And he goes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Do mine. 
And everyone's like, no, what the no. fuck? <laughs> everyone goes, okay, um, so let's please not do that. I understand that these are cold. I have to fix that now. Uh, what, what, what's that going to cost to fix? Sorry, that's my fault. Uh, oh. I will write you a bill. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. Yes. Especially. Okay. So, uh, you have been, I have been, I've been watching. Uh, you. Can I have more soup? This shit's not bad for cold, and I just, like, kind of sling yeah, it all he, back. Yeah, he brings you more soup. I'm, okay. I'm still trying to get dirt to heat mine up. No. Like that. <laughs> he is very scared of his power. <laughs> and he's just drinking this cold soup. Um, so, we are, um, I've been watching. Uh, I watch when new people come into the, uh, the town of Valaki. Um, does not look like I watch. I'm, I'm very keen eye. Uh, very smart man, Orwen is. Um, you it may shows. have run into my kind before. Um, I have heard tales of three, four people and a woman coming into town. Uh, you saved, uh, one of my, my friends, part of our members. Um, as long as you are in Volaki, you are going to be safe under the Keepers of the Feather. And he pulls out a a raven feather, and he puts it onto the table. Where ravens? It's at this point, Absidy, <laughs> that you remember you were in the attic of the of the inn, and you went and you remember going into the room and nothing being touched. But when you went up into the trap, you saw three nests, four nests, and full of raven feathers. Oh. And it starts connecting that the inn is a front for them, but when they become when they when they sleep, when they when they're comfortable, when they feel safe, they go back to the rafters and they revert back to their raven form. And you remember the where the that big fucking raven hopping and following you guys as you went around about your day earlier. It was him. So I I, I hope I did not offend. Uh, you know I get very weary of travelers, but you seem earnest, and as long as you are here, I mean we will help as much as you can. The reason why I bring this up is we, you have a letter, um, I did not open it, obviously that is not my, my place, but, um, and you see him take out this, this parchment, and it's handwriting you have, you don't recognize, because obviously you're all, all on guard for like, fuck, it's strong, <laughs> but it's, it's handwriting you don't recognize, and it says, uh, adventurers on it, and he just places it onto the counter. And he goes, I think maybe it would be best to... I wanted to wait until morning to give this to you, but I felt it was important that you meditate before you open it, perhaps. Think about whatever it is that... Whatever this person knows you're here and what they are asking. But Let's read it. <clears throat> I don't read good, so one of you guys... Uh, we're also probably expecting something from Ismark, so it could very well be from him, but I'll, I'll take the letter and I'll... Uh, I'll look at everyone. Um, we'll, before we figure out what we're doing tomorrow, we'll read it. We'll open it. I won't open it tonight. I don't want to open it tonight. We need to go. Do you want me rest. to keep here and I give back to you? I'll, t I'll, I'll take it. Okay. But why Thank not you, tonight? Because. No. It's going to kill me. Good. You're a dick. Thank you. I love you too. I'm not betting on you anymore. <laughs> what? Nothing. <clears throat> nothing. <laughs> We're betting on him anyways. Nothing. <laughs> what? What's going on? I don't... What are... What? <clears throat> Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> he thinks He thinks your 12-year-old's gonna beat you. What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm Sean. I, uh, <laughs> snore. Snore. You know. Sean, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, let... I... Mm, I don't want to get into the... Er Erwin, thank you very much. Of course. We'll get that handled. Don't worry about Especially that. Especially since it almost hit where my son sleep, please. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, he's still learning. Can it's... I have another bowl to go? Me too. Uh, sure. And you see him take, uh, yeah, these bowls and he, he puts them, you see in the pot, like he put the burner on and it's, so they're nice, they're, they're warm now and it, when you eat it, it just, it starts warming the insides of you and it starts hitting and you start getting that homey, despite it being beet soup, you get that warm sensation of like a nice warm hug that soup gives you uh this beat soup while beats the crap out of other soups while they're eating fresh bread uh i'll mm -hmm. go upstairs and okay. see if irene is awake <clears throat> how um, how big is the bowl the bowl i mean it's 
like the size of a cereal bowl. That's not like super small. It's not my, like a dessert bowl. But it, is my head small? It's as big as you can wear it like a helmet. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I now have the information I wanted. <laughs> Top head. <laughs> and now Absidy has helmet. <laughs> My, does my armor class go up? No. <laughs> it actually goes down. Actually disadvantage now. No. You have a fucking bowl on your head. <laughs> so yeah, you bring your you you are you guys eating in your room or are you eating on the, at the I'm literally bar? just and then going up to bed. Okay. Same. Uh yeah, I'm just taking it with me. Okay. So you do that as you you started leaving already, uh Dirt already made it to his room. Um so you go up and you Gently knock on the door, and immediately Irina opens the door, and she goes, and she puts her, she hugs you immediately, and says, "It was, it was late. I was, I was worried. I did, I did not know where you were." Yeah, we, we had a situation. It was weird. Did you, did you get the, did you get the bones? Y- yes, we, we have the bones. Um, and she looks relieved. Yeah, uh, I just have. A, First, I was checking to make sure that you're okay. I'm fine. I've I've been. I haven't left. Yeah, good, there good. are so many ravens around here. They keep circling. It's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. We we have on good authority that it's not a bad raven situation. Okay. Um. So, quick <clears throat> question. Uh, probably not the right time to ask it, but yes, seeking information. Okay. Um. When. Strahd was at camp. Yes. He kind of just gestured towards you, and it took three of our party to hold you down. What the fuck? You're asking this now? <clears throat> I- I've had time to kind of digest, and I just want to know what happened. He He has powers of persuasion, and I am, despite my best efforts, very susceptible to that. Is there something we can do to not make that happen? Um, if you can rip out his eyes so he can't look at me. That can be done. That. And, she, and she laughs. She's, she chuckles a little bit. She goes, I have, I'm very tired. We talk more in the morning? Uh, uh, we're going to have a lot of conversations in the morning, so. Okay. Sleep, and sleep well. Okay. She closes the door and you hear a soft like click. She locks the door, and then absolutely you're just like, and you see, and you see Rufio outside of Irina's door, and you're like, you have your soup. What you doing? Uh, standing outside a door. Why? You know whose door? Because the door was closed, and after the conversation was had, is she still awake? No. Oh. Roll deception. Good. <laughs> 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 not a good, not a good noise. Uh, thirteen. You look at him, and then you look at the door jam, and you see there's still light under it, and you see her shadow moving back and forth as she's starting to get ready for bed, and you look back at him. I see the light. I see through the keyhole. <laughs> As is canon. <laughs> As is canon. Tense. <laughs> she will be mine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she will be mine. <laughs> Whatever you say, little buddy. And I'll go. I'll walk off to my room. Okay. I throw the bowl at him. I have two now. Go ahead, roll an attack. Well, it won't hurt him. I mean, it we'll might. We'll do non-lethal damage. Uh, so what, it's, I, I rolled an eight, what do I? I'm just gonna have you add strength to it, cause you're just chucking it's it. Seven? So seven, <laughs> he's like, nah, and it just, <laughs> I was gonna have it shatter on your armor, but it's funnier that it didn't make it, and then it shatters. <laughs> so it just kinda arcs, uh, it goes, Hoo-tsh! and everyone goes, what was that? Don't worry Nothing, Good night. <laughs> you look <laughs> shitty, Good night, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Slam. <laughs> uh, maybe when I teach Dirt how to fight, I can teach you how to throw. And then I'll walk. I'll walk to the room. And, I'll go to and room. you hear from Dirt's room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got wrecked. Shorty got wrecked. And, and then so I'll, you hear, yeah. yeah, you hear Rufio's door close, and you're in the middle of the hallway with your other bowl and all these remains of another bowl. Uh, I start picking up the remains. Okay, you pick up the remains, and uh, as you do so, you hear uh, 
another soft click, and you see Irina's door open, and she goes, what was that? Uh, Rufio dropped his bowl. No, he and didn't. It broke. <laughs> you can't hear me. And she looks at you, and she goes, he wasn't holding a bowl. Yeah, I gave him one, and then he dropped it. Because he's clumsy. Can't trust him. Especially in bed. I guess. <laughs> and how much damage did you take last fight? Uh, I'm down to seven. You're down to seven? Mm -hmm. So you're pretty fucked up, and yeah. she kind of like goes out and she leans she kneels down and she looks at you and she goes you went and you got into some some fight huh yeah we ran into six vampires six vampires yeah that is a most scary situation i'm guessing they didn't make it out no we uh some some woman with a was it bronze it was bronze with a bronze leg yeah she came up and threw uh she threw down <laughs> she threw came up and threw down <laughs> Some holy Ooh, water. Lightning. Wow. We barely made it out alive. Oh my Rufio God. dropped. He did? No. It was dirt. I got confused. I'm tired. <laughs> You've had a long day. They're so similar. <laughs> <laughs> she uh she kinda looks you looks you up and down, and she kinda puts her arms out as she has them on your shoulders and she, she kinda smirks and she goes, You should probably be more careful. Um we have to still have that date, right? Yes. And then yes. she she smirks. And then she kisses you on the cheek, and she gets up and goes into her room. <laughs> Sweet. I'm a tripod. And so, uh, yeah, in a pretty weak tripod. With that, she closes the door, and you see the candle blow out, and you hear the soft click of her her door again, and she, you're just kind of like, I'm easy. I, I just want to point out that, that she gave morning. me a kiss, and I have a bowl on my head. <laughs> She, God damn it! You're just charming she, as shit. She has a particular kind of individual in mind. You are just you're just charming as shit. That's you have this weird charming ability, and you're a genuine person. Okay, so uh, genuinely awful. Anything you guys are doing in your room before you crash? Uh, I'll Getting write naked? in my diary again to whore. Okay, what are you writing to whore? Um, I'm going to write that I uh, will be training dirt in the near future uh, um give me the past couple like uh entries. so i think i've done it like two or three times yeah so the, the first time that we got to Velaki, mm -hmm. i wrote just very angrily yeah um because i missed with strata it just wasn't yeah. i wasn't hitting um and i feel like he set me up you know he didn't help me he didn't yeah. guide me or, or anything like that um post that i think we've had one night one other night since then or okay. i've written in it one other time okay i don't really remember what happened but i, I think I, I just would have been something along the lines of we were going to st andrews and yeah and we were looking you know trying to set her up for mm -hmm. success and okay. that, you know i still hadn't felt anything from him and then this time again i'm gonna be training dirt hopefully help him and then have him you know help dirt yeah. and, and watch over that and then i'm gonna start talking to people okay. about them praying to him or coming to me mm -hmm. for vengeance. Okay. Because I for like vengeance. That. Okay. Because I like it. And then anything else, you guys? I want to read the javelin. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do you want to read the javelin? I would like to read the javelin. Okay. Uh, what languages do you speak? Uh, just common and halfling. And halfling. It looks like it's an elvish. So mm -hmm. you're just kind of like, I speak Shame. elvish. Mm -hmm. And I know you can't really uncode it because it, you figured that it's Elvish, but you really <clears throat> didn't pay attention and learn Elvish because you're like, fuck that. You I never know, learned. I know Elvish secret school. thieves can't. I know <laughs> half lane because that's my language. and I know common. So nah. you just have to start asking like, hey, do you know Elvish? Do you know? Then okay. uh, keep yeah. saying Elvish is going to be the main language of our country, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Too many damn elves. I want to build Too many a wall. damn elves. Okay. And then shark. <clears throat> I'm just going to fall asleep. Slowly. Naked. <laughs> naked and uh, <laughs> <laughs> mutter to Paul a little bit to see if uh, he visits me in a dream again. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm like half doing it half-assed. Okay. And you're not doing like any watches, anything like that. Yeah, we're in the... Okay. Yeah, so. I didn't think... Yeah. So you all have a restful night's sleep. Um, nothing really eventful happens for Shart. Nothing for Absidy. Rufio, um, you... For the past couple of weeks, you haven't been... You don't dream when you sleep. 
it's kind of just you close your eyes, it's black, it's and, black then you wake and then you wake up. <laughs> that's actually true. Like I don't, I don't really dream. That's true for that's a lot bad. of people. Like that's not a thing. So you, this is the first night in a very, very long time that you've had a dream. Um, so you you slowly open your eyes and you are sitting in your father's study, back in before the passing. In- would the you sun, say in pain manner? You're in pain manner. <laughs> the the sun is, is coming through. That's what wakes you up. It's that bright kind of. You open your eyes and you you're not in your armor, but you're you're your current age, and you're looking around and you're uh, looking around his different items that he has in his bookshelves on his desks. This swell of just nostalgia taking over you as you. You know, I remember this is where, you know, I used to climb this bookshelf as a kid and one time I fell off of it and he I remember him picking me back up and uh there's his chair that he always sits in at his desk and it's and it's turned away from you and it it slowly a figure rises from it and it is it is your father. It's Thomas and he he looks at you and he smiles. He doesn't say anything and he gently walks out of the uh, uh his study. And he keeps the door open and soon uh, another figure walks in and it is, he looks like, um, he looks regal, uh, humanoid, um, I would say maybe grayish, brownish skin, white hair, kind of pulled back, battle scars, and you see that fire back in his eyes and he sits where your father sits and he gestures for you to sit down. And as you do, he goes, I figured this time it'd be a little more comfortable for you if you sat somewhere that you were familiar with. Oh, nice of you to show up again. I feel like that's sarcasm. It is. Yeah, you're pissing and moaning about it in your diary. Yeah, I was. Where the fuck were you? You know, every time you swing your little butter knife, you call a sword. And that searing hot energy comes out of your sword. That's not you. That's me working through you. Well, there was no energy coming out of the sword and it hit nothing the last time. That's because you couldn't focus. You let your anger get ahead of you. Isn't that something that we embrace here? We embrace vengeance and we embrace justice. If I wanted a fucking rage monster, I'd get the dumb half work to do this. You're smarter than that. He is dumb. That's true. You're a knight. Act like one. So tell me about the rest of your fight. Your travels. Because you just started recently talking to me again. I thought you forgot about me. I was going to start taking some shit away. I didn't know how these worked. This is a new thing for me. Your father was a paladin. Mm -hmm. Didn't really get much time to talk to him. Uh, we've run into a lot since I last saw you. We were in a Vistani camp. Mm. We've seen a shit ton of werewolves. Werewolves that are from Greyhawk. I don't understand how they got here. I don't know why they're here. But I know the mark. Uh, we just fought six vampire spawn. Uh, it, And of course, we've seen Strahd. Now you know why I picked you. Now you know why I, he needs to be stopped. He is very... He is had so many unjust... He needs to be brought to justice. When you say justice... He needs to die. Got it. Uh, that, that'll Des- be done. Despite you being annoying and being moody like a teenager, you have done some great work. Your mentor-mentee relationship continues to grow, and I've watched that, and I appreciate that. And I think the way you're going with him, he looks like he could be a, he's going to be a tough fucking warrior. He's a little, you know, soft, but he's a little doughy. We're, we're, he's 12. We're he's working getting, on it. He's we're getting a little hard. You need to keep your nose to the fucking grindstone, kid. Do you have any insight as to where we should go from here? Yeah. Get the fucking sword and go to the lake. That's what the old bitch said, right? Get the sword. I don't... Where is the sword? I don't... Didn't you write this stuff down? I, I wrote it down. I just don't know where. It, she didn't really give us details. She wasn't like, go to this town at this time and do the thingy. Uh, 
Yeah, well. And he starts getting up. He's like, I guess you're going to have to figure it out. Search for the crypt of a wizard. Keep me up to speed, kid. I, uh, yeah, I, I will. Hopefully we can hit something next time. <clears throat> and with that, he nods and he closes the door and it softly clicks. And you just sit and you just bask in this study that you haven't been in for, it seems like, years. And really the last time that you were here, you were a, a small boy. Because when your parents died, you, you were moved immediately out of it. You lived with Duke for a while. You lived with Pally for a while. And then soon you just entered the knighthood and you just became a squire like dirt. So around 13. So you haven't been here in 15, 16 years. And your eyes start to well up. And then your fists clench. And your jaw kind of cricks back in. As you're looking around and this fire starts coming from the back of your eyes, this heat, this anger. And you feel that hot fire burning in your chest again. And then you wake up. And you're, you're in your bed. And your sheets are currently clenched in your fists. And you're in a cold sweat as the birds are cawing and, you know, the sunlight's dim. But it is morning. And you're all up. I think that'll be a good way to end that because we need to level up. You are all at level five now. Woo! Level five. So a little bit, a little bit shorter than we're usually used to, but it, it fits that that mark. And no, it's a good arc. Well, yeah, and uh, one of the things we're gonna do that's a little different for you guys, uh, yeah. those of you that are sticking with us and stuff and watching, uh, we're gonna roll our hit points right now, right. so you can enjoy that with us. And roll for dirt uh, as well. Yeah, and I'll roll for it. dirt. Uh, what are we, I don't remember. Uh, it's the it's same as dice. the hit dice, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So it's a d12? Yep. Uh, if, and the way we're doing it is if, take you, the average. if you, what? yeah, oh, I forget right. what the average is. Right? I don't know either. The average is... It would just be the middle of yeah, whatever you think mine is 7 plus 2. Or something like that. What? That would, it would be six plus two. It, I, I remember you do do it. a proficiency bonus. Yeah. I think you get your proficiency bonus. Also, your added proficiency on two. bonus gets added up to three now. It's up three. Oh, that's oh, right. Ooh. Instead of two. So Is that before the the health roll. Uh, it's with the level, so it's it with should, the level. It should. So I would say yeah, so. But what's the sequence? That's a that's an awful three. You gotta take it. Uh, can I take the average instead? Nope. No, no you gotta What'd take you get? it. A one. So you're up by four. Four. Yeah, so okay. where? Four. So Shart, where are you at as far as health? Uh, that puts me at forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. Uh, D ten for Pat. Damn. I, okay. Not using the pink one next time. Um. So what does that put our uh, experience points at? Uh, you're. I mean, we're going milestone. I know, but we were still writing them down. So it's in uh, the book. We'll I'll look at it after. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it on the table when we cut. Because you, you guys don't have time to do it. I have to do No, you go. Shit. No, oh, you, you go. go. Yeah, yeah. I want to go. The, his proficiency goes up to three, too, right? Yep. Okay. And <sighs> he like rolls. He's going to be a, well. he's okay. a level cool. three, there right? Right now. So he's going to level up to level four. Oh, so his proficiency won't go up. It won't go up. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll for. He's a, he's a level behind. I'll roll just two D10s and then I'll take the higher one. Okay. Fuck you, dirt. The D8. The D8 is really sharp. It is. It's one of my favorites, though. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Stab, stab, stab. There's Absidy coming stab, out stab, again. Stab. stab, 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 stab. Ooh, a nine and a seven. I'm going to take the nine for me. Seven for Dirt. Okay. So Dirt goes up by nine. He is now at 41. He rolled high for his, oh, his health. Oh, got it. I gave cool. Him Good him. for him. 41 for Dirt. He's squishy. He needs health. Yeah. Okay. And where are you at? One. I'm at 31 right now. Okay. So. Let's see where you at. Oh, fuck yeah. Eight. Oh, you maxed out. Plus, I maxed plus out. Plus three, three so 11. Nice. There you go. Nice. 42. Nice, 42. that's where I'm at. So everyone's... I rolled like everyone's shit. We're the same. <laughs> You're not a barbarian. <laughs> uh, and Rufio is at 48. 48. Okay. Thank you, Tank. <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the game. Part of the game. <laughs> of the game. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, now we're going to... Le we'll level up our, our characters. We'll get new abilities. Do that so, all off camera. I don't know why I'm still talking in Rufio voice. I'm super sorry about that. Because you're super psyched. Uh, I am. I'm, I'm very excited. Everyone's pretty, so, excited. Everyone's pretty jazzed. And we got yeah. two texts now. I'm, I'm fucking hyped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking Dope. hyped. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out next time, next week, Thursday. 
Yep. Uh, and uh, follow us, like, smash that motherfucking like button. Uh, whatever the trendy thing is now, notifications. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Bye. Follow me on. Uh, oh, that's right. Sorry, Twitch yeah, TV slash Top Tabling. I play uh, four games a week. Uh, this is one of those games. So if you want to see me as a player as opposed to a DM, um, I play uh, Rise of Team Matt on Mondays usually, which is Duke. Uh, I play a new Harry Potter. Uh, RPG, so it's not uh, D&D. We're doing Fate Core, which is a super weird, fun uh, RPG system, and then on Thursdays or Fridays, uh, usually play our homebrew campaign. So lots of cool stuff coming up for us. Uh, depending on when this comes out, we might already have more shit going on, but please follow and uh, follow us there on Twitch, and check us out. Bye. Yeah, guys. Thanks. Woo. Love you. <clears throat> See you next this time. This bitch empty. You know that thing?